<laughs> oh, she's got the big guns. What type of a kaiju is it? I'm excited to see all the team like working together and showing what they can do in an actual combat scenario. They've got this down to like a science though. Like they're all over it. Evacuate the people, bring in the defense team. They got like multiple forces then. So it's not just the defense team. They have the JSDF also. Oh, it can move underground. Oh no, it's breeding. So there's a lot of them. Oh, I want to see Mina in action. I want to see Mina go crazy. And like how much of the suit's power can she bring out? Time to ride. He's like meditating or he's falling asleep or something. Oh no. Oh, oh, he got car sick. <laughs> the nerves are getting to him. <laughs> Relatable. That thing is massive. Are those eyes? Or what is that? It's like a massive, like, fungus thing. Oh, it just keeps spawning all the other ones. No wonder that thing's a problem. They're gonna round all of them up. I love how they're taking these logistical things into consideration. Like how much destruction they do or cause. They have to think about that as well. It's a much more like real world kind of a view for a situation like this. And I like that we have that. Let's get it. <laughs> Kaiju battle cry. Oh, here come the little ones. These guys shouldn't be too big of a deal to take out. The problem is they're just swarming. <laughs> I like that he's with Kokoro. They definitely paired these two up because, you know, he needs all the protection he can get. Oh, nah. He's, he's actually, like, crawling down the building when they all jumped. That's amazing. Here goes Mina. This is so sweet. Are those missiles going to do anything to this thing, though? It's so massive. How is it going to react to these attacks? It just keeps moving forward. Those aren't doing anything. Oh. He's actually releasing some power. Oh, nah, he got run over. <laughs> oh, I forgot his combat power is still 1%. <laughs> but Kokoru is a rising star. Yeah, she is going to impress these guys big time. She's taking them all out and making it look easy. Like, she's not even breaking a sweat right now. <laughs> hey, hit him with the JoJo reference. Nice. <laughs> oh, got her heart rate going up. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's smart. Taking out the legs just completely immobilizes those things. Poor Hashi's going to turn this into a competition between him and Ichikawa. Freeze rounds? Oh, that's so cool. 
もっとうまく聞かれる気がしますおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおただ Ooh. Oh, they have to destroy those also. That is incredibly great work. Even though he's not strong, he has that experience, and that information is so helpful. <laughs> oh, she's got the big guns! Oh, let's go, Mina. Is there anything more attractive than a woman with a massive gun? She's charging up her power! Ninety six percent. She's almost maxed out. She's almost at a hundred. That's why she's the captain. <laughs> Look at that blast. She put a hole in that thing the size of the Grand Canyon. That's what he has to try to reach. And there's the core. Mina, you absolute badass. <laughs> oh, blew its head clean off. All they needed was her. That's the power of the best. What else does she need to fire at? She's going to clear out the rest of the body too. <laughs> that feels like overkill. She is flexing. She wants to turn this thing to ash. Incredible is an understatement. And he can match that type of strength in his kaiju form. Just not right now. Yeah, how strong is Hoshina? <laughs> Okay, so maybe he's more suited for close range combat. He's gonna spotty this thing. <laughs> oh, nah! He hit him with the anime, the anime sword just. And then. Just completely sashimi that thing. He, he uses a katana. That's so epic. He comes from a kaiju hunting clan. So each of them gets special equipment. Is it still creating little ones? Oh, they still have to take out all the tiny ones. That's why she kept firing. It's just like waves of these things. 
There's like a million of them. They just keep coming and coming and coming. Oh, uh, and that's the one thing. Their endurance and stamina isn't quite there yet. Yeah, this was a big first mission for them. You gotta dig deep. Keep on pushing even when you're tired. Yeah, so Kokoru is already stronger than the majority of the, even the veterans. Yeah. There might be one more. Ichikawa. Oh no, is it the, the shifter? It's the shifter. Oh, he's going to weasel his way out of the dark. This is a disaster. He caused this. Oh, Ichikawa, get out of there. Every episode of Kaiju 8 has been really awesome so far. And we got to see, like, each member's skills and personality while on the battlefield. Each person has their own style. And I like how we're kind of exploring that and seeing how everybody fights and how everyone works together. We got to see a little bit of everyone in this one. We got to see how strong Kokoru is out of the gate and how impressed all the veteran officers are <laughs> uh, uh, with her. But I really like how even though Kafka isn't strong and he's not suitable for fighting, like he got to show what he is good at and he has this support role on lock. He has that knowledge and he uses his head while in the field. And we saw how valuable of a tool that is. No one else knew this information and that came with his experience working on the cleanup squad. And while he might never be able to truly reach Captain Mina's power level, because let's be real, she's a freaking superstar. Almost 100% of the suit's power she's able to unlock. Like Kafka is proving that he certainly belongs. I think that's a cool message. Like not everyone has to be flashy and strong. You can contribute to a team in a variety of different ways. And I really like that we're seeing Kafka do that and him getting credit for it. Vice Captain Hoshino's sword style is really awesome as well. I like that we have like a more traditional like swordsman when most of these, you know, guys are using guns and, and pretty intense uh, heavy artillery out here. Like that's pretty cool. He really hit him with the just in and out and then diced uh, that little guy like out pretty, pretty easily. But man, Ichikawa and Furuhashi are going to be in trouble. They ran into the Kaiju shifter and they are alone. They are isolated right now. And of course that guy is behind this. We still don't know exactly what he wants or what he's angling for. And it's just going to be bad, man. I know Hoshina was praising Ichikawa about his potential. But right now, I don't know if he's strong enough to take on an enemy like that. But man, we just got to say how awesome Captain Mina is again. She was going overkill on that thing. Just blasting it into oblivion. And I feel really bad for the cleanup crew who has to come in after she's... Uh, you know, just wiping the, the streets <laughs> with the, that corpse. She's so high-powered, and it's so awesome to see her. Like, she's so calm, cool, and collected, and she is dang strong. But if you guys enjoyed this one, let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section down below. And as always, y'all, I mean the world to me. If you would like and subscribe, this would help out the channel a ton. But until next time, y'all, take care, and have a great day, everybody. Peace.